Will the member for Dunkley. Thank you, Deputy Speaker. Um, I too would like to start my contribution by acknowledging that we stand today on the traditional lands of the Ngunnawal and the um, Ngambri peoples, um, and that in my community, our land is the land of the Bunurong people of the Kulin Nation. And I want to particularly acknowledge um, everyone in my community who is a member of the Stolen Generations or has family members that were members of the Stolen Generations, and everyone at Nair Majambana, the gathering place by the bay, which is our local Indigenous community centre. On the 13th of February 2008, Prime Minister Kevin Rudd delivered the apology to Australia's Indigenous peoples. In that apology, Prime Minister Rudd said this, and I quote, the time has now come for the nation to turn a new page in Australia's history by righting the wrongs of the past and so moving forward with confidence to the future. Prime Minister Rudd apologised for the laws and policies that had inflicted profound grief, suffering and loss on these, our fellow Australians, especially for the removal of children. And those consequences of policies and laws of successive governments of stripping people of culture and family and history for so long, stri stripping them of country, means that the grief, suffering and loss continues and the gap on so many measures that are so important between First Nations Australians and those of us who came here much, much later is still much closer to a chasm than a crack. Prime Minister Kevin Rudd ended the apology with this, and I quote, a future where all Australians, whatever their origins, are truly equal partners, with equal opportunities and with an equal stake in shaping the next chapter in the history of this great country, Australia. As my friend, the member for Jagger Jagger said, that next chapter is clear. It is the generous and beautiful Uluru statement from the heart. It is delivering voice and delivering truth and delivering treaty. And too often people talk about the Uluru Statement from the Heart without understanding the beauty of what's in it and what it's asking for. So I want to quote from the Uluru Statement. We seek constitutional reforms to empower our people and take a rightful place in our country. When we have power over our destiny, our children will flourish. They will walk in two worlds and their culture will be a gift to their country. We call for the establishment of a First Nations voice enshrined in the Constitution. Makarata is the culmination of our agenda, the coming together after a struggle. It captures our aspirations for a fair and truthful relationship with the people of Australia and a better future for our children based on justice and self-determination. We seek a Makarata Commission to supervise a process of agreement making between governments and First Nations and truth telling about our history. In 1967, we were counted. In 2017, we seek to be heard. We leave base camp and start our trek across this vast country. We invite you to walk with us in a movement of the Australian people for a better future. That trek that started in 2017 is still going. And it's faced some barriers. And I'm sure there will be more barriers to come. But I make this pledge. I accept that generous invitation to walk in a movement of the Australian people for a better future, side by side with our First Nations brothers and sisters. And the Labor Party accepts that generous invitation and will do everything in our power to bring to bear voice, truth and treaty and the better future that will come with it. Thank you, Deputy Speaker.